Wilson holds jobless knows The grass is always greener when it's under your nose May seem wrong, but that's the only way Kid, you're on your own You're all alone It's a big bad world, but you gotta go It's just working in teamwork. Uh, first year, it's just well, it was basically the same thing as what you did was a lot of film work in the first semester, uh, and as you probably got put in groups with people you didn't know. Mm. Yeah, that's we came here. We learned a lot about film work. We also did like lighting, sound stuff. We each kind of split off in what we wanted to do. Like I've kind of went more towards sound in second year, but drifted back to web design. So you've obviously came here with quite a lot of skills that you knew already then. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that you've done in the sort of first, well, we'll nine weeks, that you've never done before? Um, not really. Like, some of the equipment that we've used, I've, like, not used as, like, mm -hmm. before. Like, I think in college we only had, like, one main big camera uh, that, like, no one ever got to use because everyone was, like, fighting <laughs> over it. So, but there's like so much like different technology here that I've just not used half of it. So, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, do you think it's quite competitive in first year, or do you think it's a good good balance of working together? Mm, I thought it would be quite competitive because in college it's quite competitive, but it's not been so far. Like I think everyone's just really friendly with each other and are willing to help every like people out if they're mm -hmm. stuck on things. Because a lot of people like haven't done a lot of the stuff that we've done so far, and I think if like they, like when people ask, like people are willing to help. Uh, it's more a sense of working together as a team. First year we all just kind of didn't really know each other, we were just split into each group and the common theme was who's the best designer in our year and it well it did become quite apparent like Rory, Rory and Mike were really good at what they did but the rest of us we were okay at what we did but as it's first year we're kind of lax about what we did and it's this year we're starting to actually come out and we're getting better work but we're more focused working together. Why did you choose IMD? Um, well basically I always knew I wanted to do something with design and something with computers like since about 13 or 14 when we when we did filming in um, high, high school mm -hmm. and I also did product design in high school as well um, and then like through the years I kind of thought I'm going to do product design and I got all my grades, so I just left school early. And then I decided to just do this computer art and design course just to sort of build my portfolio and just to make sure like product design was the right thing I wanted to do. And then I kind of found out that I kind of liked all the other stuff a bit more than product design. Yeah. So I was kind of like, what am I going to do? Because there was so much of, like, I loved doing, like, designing websites, loved doing filming and all that. So I was kind of trying to just find a course at a variety of stuff. It used to be you were very specialised when you went to look for a job, like for a designer, if you did interaction design, you'd be very specialised in it. Or like product design, you're very specialised. Whereas IMD, you just kind of get a lot of varied skills, which is becoming quite popular in the industry. You've developed a business plan. Is it something that you would actually go ahead and do as a business? I mean, we get a business module in fourth year, which I'm considering taking. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I will go into the design industry once I graduate. Or will I go off and do something else related to something I enjoy doing, like theatre, lighting, or being a technician for one of the theatre companies around Britain? Is it just the sense that you want to have your own business because you'd be your own boss? Uh, no, because I hate taking on responsibilities and I hate being the group leader in, or leader in groups. But there's always consideration to say you've run your own business, but how I'd do it would be completely different a lot of money to start your own thing like you may have all these good ideas but you do need money to start it sort of thing so I think it's kind of like you have to go into the big corporation if you don't have money. What does being a designer mean to you? Um, just something that isn't just looking good mm -hmm. sort of will work but does like is yeah, appealing yeah. sort of thing of yeah uh-huh okay um, and so what skills then do you think a designer needs to have? Uh, I think they need to know a lot about how people interact with different things. Like if you're creating a product, like you need to know how someone's going to use this. This is just my opinion, but we're now a society that's driven, driven by consumerism. 
where you work, you buy, you go back to work and you just buy, you're always keeping up with the same trend. It's for the designers to change the world. Why is it for the designers to change? <laughs> Surely designers just want to make great things that people like, people want to have. If, you know, if I was designing something, people wanted to have it, I would say that's a success. Isn't that where you're getting a misconception of what a designer is? You think we just mass produce, or you just think we make products or we're fashion designers? Not necessarily but, make products, but do something which people want to associate with or want to have in their life. Yes, but that's still assuming that we're being driven. You don't think that a designer might be used for designing something that is a necessity? I like, I think, like designing new ways of solving problems. You've learned a lot from being in this course. Yes and no. Why no? Well, if, well, if you want to, do, you can learn most of this stuff online. But what you will get here is experience, mm -hmm. uh, not the actual facts and that I've found, because you do the research at home, in libraries or online. So you could learn all that stuff at home, but coming here, working with people, and you're getting experience to actually use that. Yeah. That's why I'm saying yes and no. That's my view, though. God knows what the future holds. It's about the best I can say. What, Go. What would you like to think, sir? And then I'll be, I can, I can move on. That the situation on how we design things has changed. Though we may be the leading ones, I can go about changing the way products are designed, how we design them, etc. As that's what you'll learn in the next couple of years, i.e. the way that we design just now needs to change as there's like a cycle and we kind of need to break out. If not, we're going to use up resources and kind of screw the planet. But this is just from what I've learned with sustainability. It's just an opinion I have. It just depends on the future of who wants to design stuff and who's going to lead the way.